Ladies and gentlemen, this is Stevie J from AngryMarks.com, Glove Upper Shut Up, and the Wrestling Observer. And without further ado, here's what happened at UFC 165 tonight. Daniel Omelchik beat Nandor Guomino by KO in the third round. The official time at 316. Alex Caceres, a.k.a. Bruce Leroy, beat Roland DeLorme. It was a split decision. 29-28, 28-29, 29-28. In a lightweight bout, Priscera beat Ronson, also a split decision, also the same scores. And John McDessie beat Rene Forte at 2 one of the first round. So, a good start to the prelims on Facebook and YouTube. Then we move on to Fox Sports 1, where Mitch Gagnon beat Dustin Kimura by technical submission when he refused to tap to a guillotine choke. 406 of the first round. Steven Thompson defeated Chris Clements by KO at 127 of the second round. Wilson Race defeated Ivan Menjabar via unanimous decision 29-28 across the board. And Miles Jury defeated Mike Ricci. Split decision 29-28 times 2 and 28-29. Moving on to the main pay-per-view card. Habib Nurmagomedov defeated Pat Healy via unanimous decision 30-27 times 3. Francis Carmont defeated Costa Filippou, also the same scores, also times three. Well, wait, there was one 30-26, but unanimous nonetheless. And Brendan Schaub gets back to his winning ways by defeating Matt Mitrione with a technical submission, Darce Joke, 406 of the first round. In the co-main event, pretty much what I expected. Henan Barral beat Eddie Wineland, and this was not the way I expected. I figured he would just be quicker than him but he actually TKO'd him with a spinning back kick and punches to follow up. So pretty darn impressive. 26 seconds of the second round. And in what some people are now calling the fight of the year, John Jones narrowly edged out the strong challenge of Alexander the Mauler Gustafson. He got two 48-47s at a 49-46. It was that close. And Jones was... Not doing good early. He was getting beaten until the third round. Things started to turn around a little bit. And uh, he may have broken Gustafson's jaw. It's not clear yet. We will find out in the post-fight press conference. But that's all for now. Stevie J, AngryMarks.com.